Good day, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Nimble Flyer. Most of my previous vlogs are about airlines in mainland China, but this time I'm reviewing a different company, Vietnam Airlines, a Skytrax-rated four-star airline and the flag carrier of Vietnam. My flight leaves Melbourne at 10:35 in the morning, so I got up early at 5 a.m. It was pitch dark outside. I went to Southern Cross Station by Uber before boarding the Skybus to the airport. You only need to pay eleven Australian dollars if you are a UnionPay card holder because of a discount program. The usual cost is eighteen point seven five Australian dollars. UnionPay also gives you a discount for your return tickets. Although it was early in the morning, the bus was almost full. Arrived at Melbourne Tour Marine International Airport. I then walked towards the international terminal. It's time to get my receipt stamped for a tax refund. The sun had just risen from the horizon. Queuing up for check-in. Online seat reservation for this flight was not allowed due to low booking subclass. However, I was assigned to a window seat at the first row of the economy class cabin when I asked the ground crew for it. Checking was done, so let's head to the international departure. After security and immigration inspection, I then proceeded to the TRS office to finalize my launchment. International departures of that morning. Wondering about the departure gates area. There were some panda sculptures there. What are they all about? Sported to Qantas Airbus A380 parked at the gate.
I took a shower, then it was time for boarding. The flight was operated by a brand new Airbus I three fifty dash nine hundred with registration number VN A eight nine nine. Vienna Airlines is the flag carrier of Vietnam. The airline was founded in 1956 and later established as a state-owned enterprise in April 1989. Hampered by social, economic, and geopolitical turmoil in its home country, Vietnam Airlines has been a minor carrier in the aviation industry since its inception until the early 1990s. The airline was able to expand, improve its products, and modernize its aging fleet after the government normalized its relations with the U.S. Vietnam Airlines became a member of SkyTeam in June 2010, making it the first Southeast Asian carrier to join the alliance. Recent years have witnessed drastic improvements of Vietnam Airlines. It has been awarded as a four-star airline by Skytrax for four consecutive years. Modern Airbus i350-900 and Boeing 787-9 have been introduced for long-haul international flights. Both Vietnamese and Australian newspapers were provided. This plane is in three class configurations: 29 business class seats, 36 premium economy class seats, and 240 economy class seats. There were a pillow, a blanket, and an amenity kit on every economy class seat. A headphone could be found inside storage compartment at the lower part of the cabin wall. You could also find two airlines magazines, a safety information card, and a duty-free catalog inside the storage compartment. The seat pitch was fabulous. It was almost the same as premium economy class seat pitch. A safety demonstration video was played. After Air New Zealand's groundbreaking safety demonstration video that depicts the scenery of the country, many airlines followed the trend. The plane soon pushed back, headed towards the runway for taking off.
menu was provided shortly after the plane had reached cruising altitude. Lunch and refreshments were served for this eight-hour flight to Ho Chi Minh City. A refreshing chill tower was provided. Let's take a look at the in-flight entertainment system. It provided an acceptable amount of international and Vietnamese movies and TV series. The screen was responsive, and the resolution of the screen was excellent. Vietnam Airlines Airbus A350-900 is Wi-Fi enabled. However, the service wasn't available during the flight. I got myself a cup of apple juice. I pre-ordered the seafood meal before departure. The main was steamed fish steak in tomato paste with veggies. The meal came with salad and sliced fruits. Flight attendants offered red and white wines after lunch service. I had a sip of white wine. Since I sought at the first row of the economy class, the layout of the personal entertainment system and remote control was slightly different. The crew asked me for my choice of drinks when I was wandering about at the rear galley. The lavatory was a bit messy when I used it. That's a thing that could be done better. I ordered a cup of screwdriver cocktail.
instant noodles were also available on request. However, it would only be served when the fasten seatbelt sign was off. It was a smooth flight in general. Two hours before landing, refreshment was provided. My seafood meal came with scallop rice. The meal also came with sliced fruits. The portion of scallop was terrific. However, it was a bit flavorless. After eight hour flight, the plane started its descent into Ho Chi Minh Tansonan International Airport. Let's conclude this flight right here, right now. It was an enjoyable experience with Vida Airlines. The plane was brand new, the seat was comfy, and the seat pitch was superb. The entertainment system was responsive. The contents were okay. Cabin crews were friendly and helpful. Meal service was efficient. A wide range of beverages and drinks were available to choose. The unsatisfactory cleanliness of the lavatory and the malfunctioning Wi-Fi were my criticisms. Plane parked at domestic terminal. Passengers disembarked through stairs. Perhaps it would soon serve a domestic flight. We were welcomed by a sudden downpour. International arrival. Travelers from most countries and territories require visas to visit Vietnam. 
you could apply for a Vietnamese visa from Vietnamese diplomatic missions abroad, or apply for an e-visa online, or apply for an approval letter for visa arrival before travel. I chose the third option. I got that approval letter for 20 RMB, around 4 Australian dollars. You need to present that letter to ground staff when checking in to obtain your boarding pass. After arrival, you need to present your passport, a visa application form which could be obtained at the visa on arrival kiosk, that visa approval letter, a photo of you and 25 US dollar cash to the immigration officer. After waiting for around 20 minutes, they would return your passport and visa to you. It took a while for me to pass through immigration inspection. You could find many ATMs outside the international arrival area. Thanks for watching. Coming next, Vidjet Flight VJ676 Economy Class Review, Ho Chi Minh to Danan.